Assalamu alaikum dear friends today i am here to explain and telling you the most important mcqs which are repeated all universities that is that's that chapter number 14 survey sampling and sample distribution from my from book sher muhammad choudhry that's problems are very very important for you so must watch this video till end if you want to gain more concept and i will tell the reason that why the mcqs are correct so let's start the video Hey, the first MCQ is given that very simple sample is a part of population. Everyone knows that sample is a part of population. Next, we move here given that its small length is less than 5% of capital length. Then we will use that MCQs is very very important. Second MCQs is small length is less than 5% of capital. We use always with replacement. Next important not a reason I will tell you that not important not I am telling you that if small n if small n is greater than five percent of capital n if small n is greater than five percent of capital n then we use without replacement must remember that without replacement. Is that clear? Without replacement. So must remember that is small n that very important for you. Is small n is less than five percent of capital, and then we will always use with replacement. Is that clear? Next, if small n is greater than five percent of capital, then we will use always without replacement. Is that clear? Next, we move. Next, we didn't add third. Sample proportion small p hat is equal to always small x over small x. Simple, we already know that. But population proportion. But we discuss population population proportion population proportion which is equal to small p is equal to capital x over capital. Is that clear? So must remember that sample proportion p hat always equal to small x divided by small y. But population proportion, but population proportion small p always equal to capital X over capital Y. Is that clear? Next, next in moving that four MCUs. The standard error sigma x bar is equal to simply sigma divided by one. We already know that. Standard error, which is a standard deviation, sigma x bar always equal to sigma over the fact. But, but variance sigma square x bar variance always equal to sigma square divided by n. Is that clear? So must remember that standard error sigma x bar always equal to sigma over under by that and is very important. And but variance, variance of x bar is equal to sigma squared weather. Is that clear? Next, moving that sample mean is also called as combined mean. That's that uh, actually is always used in problem. We calculate sample mean. So we calculate sample mean, we calculate combined mean. Is that clear? So must remember that sample mean is called, is called as combined mean. Next, six number of samples. In with replacement are very simple capital and ratio so on. But here, but here number of samples, but here, but here number of samples, number of samples in this are the with replacement, but in without replacement in without replacement without replacement number of samples in without in with replacement are capital n raised power small n but number of samples in without replacement are n c n are n c n so must remember that number of samples in with replacement are capital n this are the very important for Solving the any particle of sampling with replacement, that's formula we use. Number of samples in without replacement are NC and combination N. 
that formula is always used in practical log sampling without wasting is that clear next we move it that sampling error sampling error is very simple sampling error is equal to x bar minus mu where x bar is the sample statistic but mu is the population parameter so we just say that sampling error is the difference between sampling error that definition uh, will make the difference between sample statistic and population parameter is called as sampling error is that clear next moving as sampling bias that's very very important excuse what sampling as sampling bias always equal to expectation of x bar minus mu so must remember that sampling bias always equal to expectation of x bar minus mu we make the definition uh, very easily before formula the difference between expected value of x bar and population parameter that's called as sampling bias is that clear next we move next we move sampling error now we moving that next step next step is given that nine mcqs that very very important for you sampling error is reduced when sample size small and very simple increases as the sample size increases then sampling error must be reduced so must remember that when sample size increase then sampling size sampling error is reduced is that clear next moving that systematic component of error is very simple is called as bias that's very very important mcqs the systematic component of error is called as bias next moving that the formula of proportional allocation very simple we already know that small n iota is equal to small n capital n iota over capital that formula is a proportional allocation which we use in any problem proportional allocation problems are very very important for you so that formula we use so must remember that formula but that formula is used for equal allocation that formula is used for but that formula is used for equal allocation but that formula is used for proportional allocation is that clear next moving that 12 mcqs very simple very important finite population fraction factor is always capital and minus small n divided capital so must remember that what is finite fraction factor so we can say that capital n minus small n or capital minus so this is the that's called as finite population factor next moving that population proportion small p is also mu p hat mu p hat we already know that simple is clear mu p hat always equal to p you will that we already know that mu p hat is always equal to mu which we have used in problems i have discussed before so population per p is also equal to mu p hat is that clear next small n or capital n which is a sampling fraction that form as sampling fraction is always small this here not greater but just is small less than 5% so must remember that sampling fraction small n or capital n is always small and less than 5% must remember that that's an issue that is very important next last mcq we will discuss capital that's that is just very very important for you capital n minus small n over capital minus 1 is always used in without replacement so, so we can see any problem in without replacement we will face that capital n minus small n capital n minus we will write that we can uh, just like for example we write sigma x bar is equal to sigma divided by 100 of n under root of capital n minus small n or capital n we, uh, we must remember in any problems of any practical of sigma x bar we will face that we will face capital n minus small n over capital n minus 1 so must remember that capital n minus small capital n is always using without replacement not with replacement is that clear thanks for watching the video if you like this video then kindly must subscribe to my youtube channel i must press bell icon button for getting notification of my new lectures goodbye